Hi guys, it's Taff. Welcome back to Sir, You Are Being Hunted. Here we are. Uh, we're back because there's been an update and I thought I'd just show you a little showcase to see the latest updates for this game. As you know, it's still in alpha, so they're still constantly updating and, and progressing and adding different bits and pieces. He's constantly wa wa waggling his finger at me and saying, you're going down, you're going down, but um, no. Um, so on the top, debug is off, sex toggle, so to madam and sir, okay we've done that. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a sex toggle in life? Oh, that'd be great, but no. Um, that's a random comment. Uh, but yes, let's start a new game and I'll show you some of the new features that it's um, it's had added. So, play game. We'll go for a new world. Start a new game. Now, first change that you will notice is we can choose a profession. Now the professions will impact the starting um, items we have in our inventory. So let's just go through them. Um, the aristocrat, default, the honourable choice, good show. Starting equipment, rags for bandages. So that's quite, you know, there's pretty much nothing there. The gamekeeper is profession two, is, is basically an easy setting. At home in the countryside, smells like a badger. <laughs> Starting equipment, a large, two large traps, uh, an alarm clock, ah, whiskey, a sharp hatchet, pliers for reclaiming traps, pipe and tobacco, stick of dynamite, oh my god, stick of dynamite, a fine piece of the game, oh, a fine piece of game, I beg your pardon, so that's going to be like a, a pheasant or something, and rags for bandages. Next one, the inventor, medium level. Boffin, a boffin bristling with gadgetry. Starting equipment, a, stra a strange scanner. A toy train, an alarm clock, pliers for reclaiming traps, an alarm clock. Okay, they could have done an alarm clock times two. A toy train, another toy train, and more rags for bandages. Right, the officer, easy. Shoot first, then nick their country. <laughs> like it. So, revolver, rifle, rifle ammo, crockery, patri patriotic crockery in fact. Which is probably the, the dish with the queen's face on it. Um, pipe and tobacco, revolver ammo, rags for... Rags for bandages. Cook. Um, exotic spices. Mature Stilton. A dense fruit cake. Matchbook of lighting fires. Patri patriotic crockery. A fine piece of game. A drop of sherry. And rags for bandages. The artist. Blimey, there's hundreds of them. Medium level. Uh, but can't. But can hunting game be art? Interesting. I don't know. Um, yes. Anyway. Uh, a pipe and tobacco. A red toastal, whiskey, blah 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 blah. You can read it all here. Crockery, matchbox, a uh, trombone, sherry, a map. A map? Wow. A map of the islands, a good read, which I guess is a book, a large trap, rags of bandages. The old so Oh my god, there's millions of them! Right, pipe and tobacco, whiskey, whiskey, fire lighters, whiskey, sherry, sherry, stout, stout, pickled eggs, bandages. He's my kind of guy, the old soap. Right, aristocrats, what should we go for? Let's go for, uh, as this is only demo, we're not going to do a full run through. Let's go for, what was, hang on, let's go back to the aristocrat. Um, a stick of dynamite. Oh, a stick of dynamite sounds fun. But let's go for something with a gun so we can do, there we go, the officer or, no, we'll go for the officer. Okay, officer, done. Uh, and we'll go get some industrial areas so we can go and check out them as well. So north and south will be industrials. And we have fan and 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 mountainous. They're the other things. So build, right? Okay, guys, we're back. And oh, obviously it's the start of a new game, so we've got this basic first tutorial. So let's just um, I'll just quickly skip over this, and um, I'll yes, la 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 la, brilliant. Return now, what I can tell you, obviously you can see we've got some ammo. So let's put that into slot one and slot two. There's the patriotic crockery. Brilliant, let's discard that, we don't need that. And the tobacco, we don't need that. Brilliant, put rags there. So we got um, a rifle and a revolver, which is great. Uh, let's close that, let's go and loot this. Um, go and loot this guy here. Okay, ah, Christmas pudding, because uh, it's Christmas, obviously. There was a pumpkin for Halloween, so that's pretty cool. Get some binoculars. Uh, rags, uh, mince pies, lovely, an alarm clock. Oh, brandy! Indeed, oh, brandy. So here we are. We're back to where what we know 
and love about this game. We've got our pistol, we've got our, our rifle. Brilliant. Now, um, to tell you some of the new things about it, there is an option. I just need to put my binoculars on the. Um, there we go, so I can select long use. Um, there is a new option where you can basically toggle whether or not you want an indicator above the robot's heads. So, you know, if they're searching for you or they hear a noise, a little question mark will um, appear above their head uh, and, you know, and it the like. like. Wow. There's something useful in there. Indeed. Oh, and if you find anything edible, don't look at it too OK, closely. yep. Um, so I think the biggest addition, we'll get Torch, lovely. Biggest addition in this game is a new NPC. Yes, the Poacher. The Poacher, he's a, he's a little squat guy. And he tends to hang around copses and woodland areas. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on him here. Eye for, out for him. And he carries a blunderbuss, which is a huge shotgun type um, weapon with um, like a trumpet end. And uh, he's got huge close qu quarter uh, damage. So, the hell was that? A boiled haggis. Okay, it's usable, so we'll take it. Um, yeah, so we'll try and have a look out for him. The other thing to look about, you remember the crows, which we always used to startle? There's now rabbits and pheasants in-game, which you can startle, which will alert the robots to your presence, but you can also hunt them for game. So um, it, it, it's a two-way streak, really. You can... Ah, there we go, look. Uh, see, now, who's, you see that that's got an indicator over his head, and he is the poacher. He's a squat little guy in a raincoat. He's kind of a cross between the squire and... Um, and the hunters. So, as you can see, they've got that little uh, icon above his head. You can disable that if you wish, but I'm just showing you this for, um, well, for, to show you what it what's going on. So let's just sneak up on him and try and get a, a shot on him. He's down. Okay, let's go and have a look at him. Let's reload our thing. So this is him. Uh, it's not the best angle to get him. Uh, this is hat. Now, oh, his blunderbuss is ruined, but he has got a trap and he's got some gunpowder. This is basically ammo for the uh, the blunderbuss. So, um, we will... Oh, and uh, as a mushroom. Ah, yes, okay. One of the other additions is you can pick, now collect fauna and fauna from the ground. So you can go pick, uh, collect mushrooms and and, um, and plants from the ground, which will uh, aid you um, along the way, which is great. Uh, Okay, we really want to. I really should have um, shown you a good view of the uh, the poacher before I shot him, really. Um, but we'll try and find another one. As you can see, the the towns are quite quiet at the moment, aren't they? Which is a bit freaking me out, to be honest with you. Where where are they all? Yeah, I'm a little bit worried. Um, I guess we are on easy, being the um, on the, the on our current level anyway so uh, it may just be the, a reflection of with the fact that we're running on an easy level um okay we'll check out the back of these houses and then we're gonna have a play oh a toy train we'll have that because i love the little tr train sets uh i'm stuck i'm stuck what the uh, no i'm free i'm free you couldn't hold me wall okay um nothing there oh a door there uh, pickle eggs, lovely. Let's just eat that. Brilliant to get up to a hundred. Now, so there are the um, the crows, which we're well aware of. The balloon over there. Now, uh, I really want to show you the the pheasants and the uh, the rabbits. So let's just come over to this um, wooded area here. We'll probably find another poacher in here somewhere. Ah, uh, look. See the icon there? So let's just um let's just have a look. Let's just duck down and see who's coming. Yes, it's another poacher. So maybe if what we'll do, we'll try and entice him over here. Uh let's equip that into slot seven. And you see the little question mark came above his head. Now, I'll expect him to start walking over here. And we'll keep an eye out for him. Here he comes. Uh, he's, he's walking away. What? Why is he walking away? Oh, it's gone dark quick, isn't it? So he heard the noise, and he generally wasn't that interested. So that's fine. Um, 
So we'll go and sneak up on him. Oh, here he comes. So there he is. He's the poacher. You see his blunderbuss there. Pretty cool. Um, they haven't had their um, cone vision nerfed a little bit as well. So let's just... Oh, God. A cry as we shot him. And hopefully he'll have a blunderbuss. Yes, he does. Nah, great. So let's take that and we'll take... Uh, okay, we just need to do a bit of rejigging um, somehow. Uh, put you up there. Brilliant. And we'll lock that into slot four. Okay, so we got some good weapons now. Let's just reload everything. Uh, was it? What else did he? Oh, there he is. Look. Oh, bless him. Um, let's just stick that into slot five, and we can. Where's our torch? Where's our torch? There we go. So that that that's the remains of the uh, the poacher blessing. So what we want to do now is hunt for a pheasant. Now they do sit in trees. And I did spook one earlier. They also like to sit in the long grass. So when you think you're safe in the long grass, um, you're not because you can spook pheasants and that will alert everyone as well. So as I'm going to see, we've got two indicators over there and we've got uh, two bog standard uh, hunters, I believe. So we'll just skirt around them for now. And what's nice is you see them over there, but if you turn, they you know they still indicate you still get the visual indication on the side of the screen, which is nice. Um, Okay, cool. Moving on, let's try and find a pheasant. And I will, I will go in and um, use the blunderbuss on them. There's also another nerf on the hatchet. I don't think I've got a hatchet, have I? No, I don't. Now, the hatchet, you can... I'm trying to see if I can see a pheasant before I startle it. Um, with a hatchet, you can actually... They've nerfed it so it's a lot easier to make contact. Because remember, if you ran up to a robot with, a, with the axe... A lot of the time you'll be just um, swinging, not and connecting, but um, they have improved that a lot. So you can now go buck wild with an axe and just take it to the robot, which is pretty cool if you get desperate anyway. Um, now, I have startled a pheasant before, and the noise it makes is absolutely spot on. Absolutely spot on. It's sort of like the the, um, the funny old noise they make. I'm not going to do an impersonation of it. Um, Okay, we didn't start a pheasant. Rubbish. Uh, but we'll just quickly raid this place. Um, I must admit, these, they're not guarding the towns as much for some reason. Oh, I think this is one we've already done, is it? Yes, it's the one we've already done. There's the... Uh... Okay, let's go into this field then. We'll bomb through here. We may startle a pheasant. Check the trees to see if there's a pheasant in the trees. There's also rabbits about. So keep an eye out for a rabbit. I'm just bombing about trying to spook something. Okay. Well, don't yeah, as I said, don't worry, don't worry about spooking pheasants because I can't find one. Ah, rubbish. Okay. Let's just sneak over here. There's the robots around the church. Oh look, there's loads of robots over there. What's going on? Not a lot. There's crows. No pheasants. You, as I said, you can toggle the the little visual indicators off, so don't worry about. If you're not particularly uh, liking the look of them, it's not a permanent issue, so don't worry. And um, we'll just use some of these. There we go, 99, brilliant. Torch eggs now. A nice cured lamb, a well cured lamb. Um, the alarm cock there. Oh, they've all they've all been spooked by. Did you hear the crows go? Oh crap! Right, the blunderbuss. This is brilliant for close combat, but it's not a an affected weapon from here. See, he got alerted there. Look, somebody's coming. Boom! He's gone. <laughs> right, and it takes a while to reload, I believe. So, um, ready. It's absolutely devastating at close range. Oh! Oh! And you see, he's. Boom! Oh! Okay, let's. Um, we're, we're... 
I would let's advocate heal. Discretion, sir. Or let's bandage up and run away for a second. Run uh, reload. But if you have oh, we haven't got any ammo. Uh, let's switch to our rifle then. We'll pop over this wall for a bit of protection. And we'll have a bit of a gun battle, shall we? Boom! Reload. This is only a one shot gun, this one. Boom! Oh, missed. Okay, I think I've cleared them out. Okay, let's go and loot the these guys. It's a lot easier when you start with a gun, isn't it? Um, I think we've run out of ammo for... Oh, that's a shotgun. We've got a rifle. Now, we don't have... Let's yeah, use that. Let's do a bit of inventory tidying up. Do we have... Oh, we can probably put the shotgun there. Brilliant! A weapon. Do be careful with that. I really think violence is best left to the experts. Can we shoot one of those, I wonder? Uh, do we loot this one over here? Okay, he had nothing on him apart from some blackberries, but I don't need them because I'm not going to go for a long-term game. Um, do these bloody crows die by any chance? Uh, hang on, let's, let's go for the pistol. I can't, I can't shoot with that. Oh, shotgun. Oh, maybe not. Let's just leave it. Uh, would like wouldn't mind having a go at pop, having a couple of pop shots at the uh, the balloon as well because that annoys me. There's uh, some rags there we could have taken. Uh, so shotgun shells. We'll leave the bit of meat. Oh, hang on. What does it say? At fire. Oh yeah, usable at fire. So that's fine. We got we took this one's head off. Uh, he's got nothing on him either. Right. Ah, oh, rubbish. Just wondering if we can kill those birds, because they annoy me. No, not with my shooting skills. No, we can't. Okay, what am I, what am I looking for? Pheasants, yes, pheasants. That's the other thing we're looking for. Uh, I think I've, you can see you've had a good demonstration of the blunderbuss. You've had a good demonstration of the um, the, uh, the 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 what's the other one? The blunderbuss. The the icons, visual icons above the. Um, above the, uh, the the enemy uh, and obviously ah the other thing I can show you is with regards to the um, alarm clocks and the oh I thought I said something now it's going not not going to talk for a second just so if we do start the pheasant you can hear typical there's not going to be a pheasant in this entire bloody map now is there Hmm. Okay. Well, what, there's the bog monster. What we can do? Let's let's just hop over down to the Scythe South Island, uh, and we'll have a quick look at the industrial zone. Okay. Here we are, South Island. Now this is an industrial zone. All of, all of a sudden, you can see some pylons over there. Uh, who builds a jetty next to a sheer cliff? Great. We're gonna have to go in the water. I mean. Nah, that could have spawned a bit better, couldn't it? Right, so this is this is the industrial zone. As you can see, you can see factory chimneys over there. Um, but let's go and check out this, um, what looks to be a, a, wow, a barbed couple of guys over there. But it looks to be a pylon, electric pylon. And look, yes, big smoky chimney stacks. Fantastic, loads of houses. We'll go and check that out. There's obviously a... a an artifact there and he's been alerted to us <gasps> oh excuse me hiccups um but i'm not gonna i'm not too worried because we're not collecting anything on this one we've got an old um there we go so he's coming around we'll just sneak behind this wall and he'll never know it was us brilliant now what we can show oh we could have we've got a bit of nice pudding we could eat um and that is, t we'll eat the, the ham because that's taking a bit of space. Um, yeah, it's weird. I'm just I'm just using stuff up to create space. It's, it's kind of weird. Um, but we have got an alarm clock, and you can now set the timer on the alarm clock to um, better set up your distraction to attempt. So you can you know you can set it up to a minute. Um, so you can you can set it. Think, wow, oh my god, look you can look at the icons. How many of them are there? Millions of them. Absolute millions of them. 
Thousands of them. Zulus. Thousands. Anyway, so we've got loads of guards there. That won't stop us having a look. And as you can see, the graphics are gorgeous. Oh, look, we've got a canal with some, <laughs> with some shopping trolleys in there. Brilliant. I love that. That's a nice touch. Um, okay, so let's let's hop over the river. Not a good idea. He's seen us. He's been alerted. He's gone red. So uh, we'll just we'll come over to this bridge. Oh, look, there's a scarecrow. Um, we don't want him on our tail. See, there's that red guy. He knows we're over here. There's a couple of guys over there. Oh. Oh, didn't get him. Oh, stuck on the stone. Boom. I see ya, I see ya, I see ya. Reload. Whoa, okay, we're gonna have to dodge and weave, dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Okay, we are bleeding, so I'll quickly heal up, reload, and we'll make for the long grass. Hopefully spook a pheasant now that we don't want to spook a pheasant. So let's just duck down. So they have gone back to searching with a question mark. They know we're about, but they don't know where we are. They've lost visual sight. Uh, so we can sneak away. And they've lost us, so we can... Oh, he's got a question mark above his head, so he's searching. Uh, let's just go reload the shotgun. Oh, it's only got one ammo left anyway, so... Uh, it's okay. Uh, I'm trying to get closer to the uh, the industrial zone, so you can say, Oh, he's got a bloody dog. I hate dogs. I hate dogs. Um... Okay, let's uh, let's hop into the water. I don't think the bog monster can get. Do the dog spot us? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's quickly hop over here, and we can check out some of these houses. We've got oh, we've got alarm clock there. We've already got one, but um, we can use that one for another demonstration. A little wee wheelbarrow. Uh, Chucky Bickies! Yum, 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 yum. Ply we need some pliers. Um, well, well, what we can do. Dog's coming over. Balloon's coming over as well. So let's just zip into here. Um, is that a door? Yes, it is. Another alarm clock. Okay, so if we get the alarm clock. Um, is anyone about? I just I'm notice I'm standing out in the open doing this, which is not the best idea in the world. But obviously, in your game, you'll probably be in a lot more care than I am. Now, with the alarm clock, I think you hold the right. Yes, you can hold the, click the left. Uh, sorry, the um the right mouse button to change the timer. So we set that for fifty five seconds. We can put it down there, and that'll sit there for a minute, and um, then it'll chime off. So it gives you a little bit more options when it comes to um, planning your uh, your little escapades. But this is this is the industrial zone. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Um, another trap in there. Another trap in there. I haven't been able to. Oh look, there's like a. Is that like a gas chamber? And I don't mean like for executions, I mean like for um, storing gas. Oh, what the hell is this? <gasps> now that looks like a bomb, doesn't it? So I'll go from a distance and I'll, I'll have a shot at that because that could explode. Ready? Oh, it might not. And it's just alerted everyone to where I am. Um, but that's fine. As I say, I'm not going to play through all this fully. Uh, I'm just going to try and show you anything else I can find, which is... Do we have a pop shot of that balloon? No. Okay, you can't you can't kill the balloon guy either. Oh, there's a rabbit. Look, you see the rabbit? Now, if I'm good, I can shoot the rabbit. Boom. Well, I shot the rabbit, but he seems to be um. Yes, he's looking up. He's looking to the sky. Now, there you go. You can. Uh, whoa. Good shot, sir. 
Um, let's just heal up and rearm. Uh, really want to get the pheasant as well, but as you can see, this you no longer just come across your game now, you have to hunt it yourself. Good night. And here they all, here they all come. They're all after my rabbit. Okay, let's run. Um, we'll just reload the shotgun. And I think we'll probably call it a day there. I think we've explored most of the... There's other little tweaks as well with um, graphical improvements, additional bits of junk and items reclassified from dubious to junk. So a little corrective measures in there as well. Um, but overall, it's not, it's starting to become a fantastic... Well, it is a good little game, but it's starting to become a lot more. And with the added um, skill levels involved and... Uh, if they add more NPCs, it'd be fantastic. Um, and uh, yeah, it certainly makes this game a, a lot more appealing. Now, I know it's uh, it is quite replayable in the fact that all the islands are randomly generated. But um, yeah, if they can add numerous other, you know. NPCs just to make it just to break it up a little bit because I haven't seen the squire in this one. There's a, there goes a toadstool. I'm not going to pick it up though because I don't need it. Oh look, uh, I was going to show you the hatchet, but I haven't got a hatchet now. Hi guys, boom, boom. Oh yes, I'm a demon with this. He's got no ammo on him. You've got no ammo on you. Is there any ammo in that shotgun? Two rounds, yes. We'll swap shotguns then. Unload. Uh, discard. Whoa. Good night. Um, yeah, yeah. The only problem with what I just did, then I have to um, rearm the um, shotgun. Okay. Uh, was there anything else I wanted to talk about? Probably not. Ah, shotgun shells. Brilliant. Um, I just gone, as you can see, the um, scarecrow seen us. Wow. So the scarecrow can take over two shotgun shells to the head. Three is too much, though. Uh, and he's got a. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't move. I want to go and see what that is. Um, it's got like a Jacko light lantern for a head which is pretty cool let's just sit down for a minute so they lose sight of us let's just eat the Christmas pud he's gone they don't know where I am but they're just shooting in my general direction shit find a way oh god whoa good shot sir Okay. Right, there we go. Uh, I just healed. I think that was my last bandage, probably. I can't have many more. Now, if we just go and try and find this um, pumpkin. Where's the um, scarecrow gone? Where was I blasting his face off? About here? God damn it, there's one over here. What's this? No, he's a hunter. Ah, oh, rubbish. Okay, I might not be able to show you that because he may have. Um, Despawn maybe. Is he despawned? Ah, oh, he may well have. Uh, but I'm guessing you can use that jack o' lantern to um, stick up in an area and obviously distract people and and whatnot like that. So there we go. This has been a, a quick um, look back at Sir, you're being hunted with the uh, with the additional um, bits and pieces that have been added, and I hope you've enjoyed it. One more last shot, of this guy, you say? Oh yeah, why not? He's a constant pain. Can you see him? We need to get in front of it, I think. So we'll, we'll run up the hill in front of him and see if we can take a pop shot at him. Oh, we see me. Can we take the light out, do you reckon? Yes, we can! Okay, you can shoot the light out. That is awesome! Oh... Anyone come in? No. Okay. So it's all gone a bit dark. Let's. I can't get over there. So. 
let's just uh, use the rest of our ammo and um, see if we can just sink this this um, balloon come on let's just duck back a bit can we oh he's got his light back okay now it doesn't look like you can shoot the actual balloon or the robot in the balloon but you can take out the the light which is awesome I think yes still don't know what the willow the wisps are for but um, I'm sure their their presence and their their um, usage will become clear in time so there you go guys there's uh, an update video on the latest developments in sir you're being hunted and I hope you've enjoyed this and I may well do a few more for any future updates as well so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time